Hello! I recently released a new roguish archetype for 5e, the Dreambreaker Rogue. This one is great. It's inspired by one of my favorite movies, Inception, which is a great film. Uh, it's all about how rogues exist within a system. They rely on generally three means to achieve their dastardly ends, trickery, burglary, and assassination. But Dreambreakers are different because they actually achieve their goals, whatever it is, through breaking into others' minds and affecting their grasp on reality. Let's get into it. The Dream Breaker at third level gains two features. The first feature is called Ephemera Burst. This affects your sneak attack. When you deal damage with sneak attack, you can roll a d8 and it deals random damage type and then you add the d8 to the sneak attack roll. The damage type is fire, cold, radiant necrotic, lightning, thunder, force, or psychic damage. You roll the d8 and then you add the d8 to the sneak attack damage. And you can use that an amount of times equal to your proficiency bonus and you regain all expended uses at the end of a short or long rest. The second feature that you get at third level when you choose this roguish archetype is called Lucid Blackguard because these are blackguards of the mind. They affect the subconscious in a way that affects reality in minor ways. So because of that, you gain one cantrip of your choice from Prestidigitation, Druidcraft, or Thaumaturgy. And then at 10th level, you gain another of those three cantrips. Also at third level, when you gain this feature, you gain the ability to crack open minds like a safe. So rogues have proficiency with thieves tools. They can open locks. Dream breakers can open minds. So with this one, you gain access to the detect thought spell. You can cast it once per short or long rest and your spell casting ability for it is intelligence. The next feature is at ninth level for this roguish archetype. It is called elucidate. So you are so inured to the effects of the subconscious that it actually causes you to be able to end similar effects on other people. So as an action, you can end one effect on a creature that you touch, causing them to be charmed, frightened, or stunned. And you can do this an amount of times equal to your proficiency bonus and you regain all expended uses at the end of a long rest. At 13th level, you can defy gravity because that's what this ability is called. At 13th level, you get defy gravity. Using your cunning action, you gain a flying speed equal to your walking speed and can hover. And this flying speed lasts for an amount of minutes equal to your proficiency bonus. You can use this cunning action a number of times to gain a flying speed equal to your proficiency bonus and you regain all expended uses at the end of a long rest as well. At 17th level is the capstone ability. This is called Mind Breaker. This one really turns up the heat. So with this one, you can cast Dream once per long rest, requiring no components. Intelligence is your spell casting ability for it. And if you choose to cause a nightmare and deal damage, that creature that suffers the nightmare, the damage that they take increases by an amount equal to your sneak attack. And at 17th level, that's what, like 10d6? So that's wild. So this is the Dream Breaker Rogue. It's a lot of fun. It's released on my website and the prices are lowered now. So all individual subclasses are $199 now and bundles are less. So if you buy a bundle, you save money. This one's on the website. It's a lot of fun. I actually had one of my players in my last campaign play test the subclass and he just had a blast with it. It's so versatile. It allows for a lot of role playing opportunities. Dreams as a narrative tool are so potent. The Dream Breaker really opens the floodgates for allowing great opportunities to tell a beautiful story.